My name is John. I'm a registered Republican, Bible-believing, conservative Christian, evangelical from Ladera Ranch, California, and I will not be voting for Donald Trump in 2020. When I think of a president, I want a president who has a macroeconomic vision. It doesn't have to be, honestly, it doesn't even have to be a conservative, uh, you know, economic notion. It just has to have something that makes sense. It has to have some sort of concept. Tariffs, uh, Donald Trump truly just, it, it seems as though he doesn't even understand the basic concepts of a free market. My second argument is an appeal to my evangelical brothers and sisters. When the Lord Jesus Christ taught that woe to those who cast stumbling blocks in front of the children of God, it is better for them that a millstone be wrapped around their neck and they be thrown into the sea than to lead the children astray. The very things that do you are supporting because you think you're somehow achieving some sort of higher society, some sort of utopia for God. Shame on you. You are doing great harm to the gospel. You are doing great harm to the gospel. Every Trump supporter I know says that despite his personal failings in every category I just listed, they think somehow his presidency is going to advance some higher end. They, essentially, they're making the, the means justify, the ends justify the means argument. That is, if you read the Sermon on the Mount, the means, the manner in which we live is the end. We don't have some higher goal, some sort of higher objective in history. The Lord, the Father has that figured out. Our job is to love our neighbor, to turn the other cheek, to forgive, to love, to live out the kingdom of heaven in everyday life. The judgment of God is upon you.